Yo, yo, what's up? Just chilling, you know, coming back with this another time. Um, just thought I'd do a quick flight, right? You know, I call these flights because I'm not really doing reviews and getting in depth and all that, you know. This is just a quick flight. Um, this is the maiden flight, actually. Word up, so you know. Maiden flight of the Zizon Tarantula X6, if you could see that there, yeah. Pretty cool. I haven't really flown this one at all, so you know, I just kind of read the manual maybe once or twice, and I'm we're gonna do this. Like I said, that's why I call these uh, flights more than anything, because I'm not gonna go in depth, but uh, just for fun. Okay, but if you guys want to see the transmitter, that's what the transmitter looks like, and um, I believe that right there is your speed adjustment. I don't know what the rates are on this. I'm gonna say 40. 60 and 100 percent um that's your lights right there so you could turn your lights on or off that's a orientation button those are your trims you know what those are for standard trims that you see on a lot of your uh, transmitters and this button is your flips i believe and that is your video er, i would imagine if you have a camera of some sorts maybe that would be for taking pictures. It looks like it's your, you know, your camera for a picture uh, taking, and that looks like for video recording. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get on it and have some fun. All right, cool. Let's go with the maiden flight of the Zizon X6, and we're gonna start a beginner race. Oh, damn. So this thing is pretty beastly. This is the biggest of its sort that I've flown. And that's the generate pitch. I don't want to lose this bad boy. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So wow, this is pretty sweet. I like this one. I want to see how this one fares with the alien, you know. So that's pitch on beginner. You can see that. That's fast, even on our well 40%, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try some of this bad boy yaw here on this. And this is 40% yaw rate, so I don't know if you guys could. That's pretty slow, you know. Definitely not the fat well, considering how big this is, you know. So that's that's pretty stable though. Look at that, 40% yaw rate right there, if you could see. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try that one more time so let's go ahead and try let's try some flips so let's see how this thing flips now so we'll probably i'm sure it's heavy it's a big one so we're probably gonna have to get it up there press the flip button oh yeah that's definitely heavy flipper there so let's let's, let's try again okay oh oh <laughs> oh sh well you guys seen what happened there? We got it, uh, caught on the thing. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see if I can do this, guys. All right, right on. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get back at it. So there's the flips, you know. Let's go ahead and try orientation mode, what they call it. So let's see if, if you hold the joysticks down to the left. I don't see, okay. I don't see anything happening. I'm trying to see if, like, you know, we get some of that. Uh... Okay, let's take them to the right. There may be, I might, and, and it might be me not, not doing these correctly. So, let's see any lights blinking. No. Okay, any lights? Uh... All right, no. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try orientation mode. So we'll press it. Let me back up a little bit. So yeah, this is a pretty nice one here, guys. Definitely powerful and big and cool looking. So let me go ahead and try orientation mode now. <clears throat> so let's do this. I pressed it, okay. Looks like the lights are blinking. So let's see if we can, uh... Okay, well, it looks like it's... Yeah, it looks like it's working. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a back and forth yaw, you know. Uh, looks like we definitely got some orientation on here, you know. Cool. That's a 
Look at that, see? Cool. I remember this is still, oh, I want it to get away from me. <laughs> so this is still beginner, right? Okay, so let's land this. I'm going to try to take this off. Wow, this is pretty nice, guys. It's kind of a beast here. Okay, so I imagine you press it again. Right there, watch this. Okay, now it's double beaking. Okay, let's go to the next ray. So, 60%. So, you know, first one was 40. I guess two beats is 60. Yeah, you know, one beat, 40, two, 60, three, 100. So, we were at 40. Let's try it. Oh, kind of scared to do it. I don't have a whole lot of room here, so. <laughs> Maybe, but we'll show you. So, this is 60% rate. Look at that. Pitch on that is pretty, pretty wild. Watch, Eddie, let's, let's, uh. Let's show you. Let's. So look. Definitely got some awesome movement there. This is 60% rate. You know, so. Okay, let's see the yaw. Let's see what 60% yaw is. I don't know if it's like 40%, if it's the same kind of slow, or if it. Well, I don't know. It looks. A little faster at 60. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's uh, let's slow it down a little so we can get a good a good yaw shot. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, up close. So that's the yaw at 60%. It looks, you know, I'm gonna kind of go towards it. So it looks about the same. I can't tell if it got any faster from 40%, but the pitch definitely, you know, at 60%. And I'm just, I'm, I'm calming it down because, you know, I don't have a whole a lot of room here. So let's see, let's try something like this. Okay, watch. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. Just hit a, the down hit. Well, let's see, did we break anything? No, we're good. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and, uh, that was the first crash there. Got a little scraped up. These are big motors, so. I don't think that did much. So let's go ahead and uh so we're in 60% still, you know, so 60% books. Look at that. I mean I I wish if I had more room I'd be able to, you know, show you guys the extent of that. But yeah, 60% books. And I think the yaw, I can't tell if it's faster. You know, then the 40, it might be the same yaw. It looks to me like it's a little faster. You know, I'm trying to get some of that. The pitch is definitely more beast, you know. A lot more beast. Yeah, that's what we like. Okay, so let's see if I could... I really don't know if I could do any funnels with this bad boy. It's kind of... Oh, no way. It's kind of big for those. Maybe a bank turn. Bank turn. Pumpkin, say do it. Right. <clears throat> so, and watch. Here's the lights. That one right there. So if you click it, now let's see the lights went off. Do it again. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. So that's cool. Right. Let's go ahead and let's go to 100% now. Now I gotta be careful. It's gonna be fast. You know that. So. So now we're at, gee, yeah, pretty, that's pretty powerful pitch, I have to calm it down so I don't hit anything, but definitely powerful at 100% rate, as you can tell, but, oh, Yeah, I don't want to lose it, guys, though. So we got to handle this at 100%. You know? Right, but yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let's check the yaw. Let's see what the yaw is like at 100% now. So, are you guys ready? Let's see. I think it's... I'm hoping it's a little faster. Oh, wow. Looks like the yaw is definitely faster at 100%. Right? Oh, he kind of got away from me. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can get a calibration thing. How do they do it right here? It's got to be, guys. I know it. That's what's up, man. 
Alright, look. Can't see anything happening. No. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Trying to see if we can get our typical uh, calibration. No. Oh, definitely didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's see. No. Nothing. Okay, I'll have to read the manual some more. I'm not figuring out how to do the, you know, trim reset or calibration. But so far, so good. We're still in 100 percent right and you know this pitch is pretty nasty I'm like taking it easy because I don't have oh <laughs> tipped out so nasty I don't have a whole lot of room so I got to chill out you know how that goes bambino okay so let's go ahead and show you the yaw rate again so here's 100% yaw rate uh, let's see if we go. My pitch is really deep. It's hard for me to. I got like, you know. I didn't put really any trim or anything, so this is just all made in factory settings. But let's see if we can get. You know, so there's your 100% yaw. Definitely a little faster than the 60 and 40%. So, but I like this one. This is a powerful beast you know I mean I could imagine it flies nice even with those prop guards on and I'm glad it has those because I imagine flying this I'll be especially at the hundred percent rate especially at the hundred percent rate I imagine I'll be uh, maybe wrecking this a lot so it's definitely good to have you know those prop guards on just like I crashed over there earlier and this one's advertised at 300 meters, so maybe one of these days I can get a range test and we can go see that, you know, actually see how deep it gets. The place I do it is, I'll do the range test at. I'm not sure if it's actually 300 meters or not. I, I know it's close. It's definitely longer than the football fields and the soccer fields that I go to sometimes. And I you know that's 100 yards, 100 meters, whatever you want to call it. So. I know the strip, the park strip's probably got to be 200 plus, so at least it could be a good reference to see if, you know, we can hit the I mean, 300 meter mark or even the 200 meter mark or at least over the 100 meter mark, so I'd like to take this, you know, to give it a test, see where we're at, but we're just flying her out now, you know, really, this thing's got pretty nice battery life, seems like it's going forever. So we're just saying we're at 40%. I don't want to get too fast, you know. Give Taylor Taylor a nano kiss. Wow. Oh. So we're just flying this over here, doing it, you know, having fun with it. Let's try another flip. Like I said, it seems like these flips are quite heavy. So I didn't give it any. Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't give it any throttle on it. it uh, it kind of dropped down so you can definitely and it makes sense that the flips would be heavy with this this is quite a big uh you know this is probably the biggest quadcopter i have so far so pretty big one so there's just a little bit of throttle you know i gave it a little bit too much throttle there but yeah definitely heavy on the flips like watch let's do a flip like right here not too high no throttle oh it went the other side see it dropped a bit but it's still but yeah you definitely got a you know heavy flipper here it just makes sense because it is a it is a big one you know so there's your back flip there let's try a front flip well i'll do a flip in every direction so let's see okay so there's there's your front flips you know heavy on the front flips there's your back flips okay and let's try a side flip Okay, there's a side flip. Oh, they dropped a bit. I gotta be careful because there's a, a power line there, you know. So now let's try the right side flip. Oh, that was a front flip. Sorry, guys. Okay, I think we're hitting LVC. Yeah, look, I see the blinking light. Probably from trying all those flips. Well, you guys got to see each and every rate of this. You got to see the yaw. I didn't, unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, pull any. Well, let's try it now. wasn't able to pull any. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, well, it, I think it about hit LVC. It wasn't able to pull any bank turns or funnels off. I mean, I have to kind of probably have more room with this one and definitely play with it more. It's a little bigger than I'm used to. I think at the park I can, you know, crank it up and probably pull some bank turns or funnels. Well, let's, let's ride it, ride it out. Oh, yeah, I think it's out, guys. Well, there you have it. That was just a maiden flight of the Yizon Tarantula X6. Pretty nice. If you're looking for something with a lot of power that can move and just looks cool. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's dope, you know, dope looking. I mean, I'd, I'd say get this one. The time I got it, it was like 50 something, 52, 53, 54, and it actually has gone up. I think it went up about 15 bucks. So it's about 67 now, I think. And that's just the better version like this without the camera. You know, you can get the other versions if you want, you know, for a little more. They have the one that comes with the camera. I mean, whatever suits your preference, but definitely like it, you know. Want to get it out to the park and do a range test and see how deep down I could get before it cuts out on me, you know. You know, the park strips at least, like I said, 200 plus meters, so, you know, if it can at least hit, you know, half that or even that, which it, I'm thinking it could, you know, I don't want to go over that because there's a bunch of houses, but just, just for reference, it's at least got 150 meters of strip so it's good for you know doing some range tests of the sort but um there you had it the yizon tarantula x6 all right be cool peace